Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. And the more exciting thing is it's a long weekend almost. So we get tomorrow off, which is super exciting. We get to um, celebrate Anzac Day and remember those. So um, today is also coming to the end of April. And in the end, and in April, we have actually been um, promoting Rosacea Awareness Month. And so Rosacea, this time of year, tends to get uh, crazy with the weather that's going on. And I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about Rosacea because some people get a little bit confused actually what it is and it's quite hard to diagnose through your doctor so if you're not sure I would suggest that you pop on into the girls at the spa book a consultation and then they can um, help to diagnose your skin for you but rosacea has three different stages and at the beginning stages of rosacea it can feel like flushed redness especially across the nose and the cheek area um, sometimes when you have a glass of wine if you get very flushed that can be normal or it can be the beginning signs of rosacea so a little bit of um, heat in the vascular network of the skin um, is the beginning stages of rosacea and then as rosacea flares up even more progresses over the years it will then become more of an inflammatory response into the skin and then and in the end you can end up with the third stage of rosacea which is where you see um, the the nose is a little bit disfigured and disformed where you have quite a bulbous nose where the vascular network is quite congested with blood flow and the cells are not turning over regularly um, and there's a lack of nutrients in that area as well. So rosacea can be flared up this time of year especially because of the weather. So your skin doesn't like the change in temperature. So sitting in the car with the heater blowing against your face um, when it's quite cold in Sydney at the moment and then hopping out of the car and then that cold um, constriction of the blood vessels, your skin just freaks right out. Also going, you know, skiing uh, in the snow versus being in, in summertime back here, very, very different um, with the way that the skin responds and rosacea just doesn't like that change in temperature so when you're having a shower if you have rosacea please just turn the shower to lukewarm step out of the main the mainstream of the shower wash your face and then hop back into the shower because if you're washing your face with hot water your skin just will flare up um, spicy foods also your skin doesn't enjoy so tea coffee are stimulants but also chili spicy foods are also stimulants so trying to avoid those sorts of things alcohol is also a stimulant for the skin and your skin will not love it if you have rosacea so try and avoid these sorts of things things like stress also does irritate rosacea it's not like you know we can um, avoid all stress except for if we quit work you know leave our husbands and go and sip pina coladas on an island somewhere that's probably going to help with the stress levels but other than that uh, life wouldn't be that enjoyable so um, I would suggest just trying to be aware that these things do irritate your rosacea and that if you are going out to dinner you want to have a glass of wine um, vodka and gin are also no good for rosacea then know that the next day you're probably going to have a flare-up so I would be doing things like taking zinc every single day and taking probiotics for the gut because there is a direct correlation between gut health and rosacea so trying to help with your internal organs by strengthening the flora of the gut by taking probiotics. The zinc will help with the way the skin heals. So if you're having a rosacea flare up, then the zinc will help with the way that the, your skin is responding to that and it will help to heal the rosacea flare up faster. Um, during this time of year for winter time, um, rosacea, as I said, is the worst. So I would suggest changing your active ingredients. So um, limit AHAs, no retinols this time of year, anything like that more feeding the skin and nourishing and protecting and putting a very um, a very nice barrier on the surface of the skin to stop the environment from irritating your rosacea as well. So using things like peptides, hyaluronic acid, um, anti-inflammatories are a must, bearberry licorice, those sorts of ingredients are amazing on your skin. Making sure you're still wearing sunscreen even though we're in winter is very important because rosacea also doesn't like sun exposure. Um, and then uh, supporting the skin with more nourishing antioxidants at night time as well to help to repair any of the damage that your skin has gone through during the day, trying to fight off aggressors. At night time, we need to calm the skin and help to repair any damaged skin cells that have um, been affected. So speak to the girls at the temple. Uh, vitamin C range, so the vital C range from Image Skincare is designed for inflammatory skins, so rosacea, dermatitis, psoriasis, eczema, those sorts of things, uh, and very dry skins. There's also our brand new Image Skincare range called the Biome, and that is also amazing for rosacea as well. Very brightening, 
going to help to repair the acid mantle of the skin, anti-inflammatory as well. So that's designed for rosacea. Till the end of this month, we have um, a discount on our rosacea products. So making sure that you book an appointment with the girls, coming in, double checking that you actually do have rosacea, how you can manage it at home, um, speak to them about um, what you can change in your skincare diet to support your skin a little bit more during winter. Okay, so that's happening just till the end of April. So get on it and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye.